welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. I am Adam, and I just got a box. It is the uh, Kickstarter, the Reaper Bones um, Kickstarter. Finally arrived. It's been a bit more than a year that I've been waiting for this. Uh, I'm quite glad to have it here. It came a few hours ago. And I got both the, uh, I got the core set, of course, uh, and I got, I, whatever, one little add-on and then two of the um, set add-ons, and I believe they're packaged separately. Yeah. So I'm just going to do the core set today, and I will save and do the uh, other add-ons in another video. Um, but we got air, they're going to be the those add-ons. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, so anyways, yeah, the ones that I'm not doing today, I'm just going to set back there. Those ones look so pretty. Those are the, the water ones. Yeah, we have the expansion set 3 and the expansion set 2. Uh, both of those I will do at a later time. Um, there's a thank you signed by... Uh, Let's see. Uh, Reaper, thank you. Um, your support and faith in us throughout the process has been wonderful. Thank you for believing in us from everyone at Reaper. And it has their signatures. That is really cool. That is that is just sweet. So, that. Uh, it's, I would like to thank you, Blake, for pulling my order. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, this should be the bases. I think this is probably going to be the bases here, just in this little bag. One of the stretch goals added some bases. I'm guessing that's what this is. Yes! I'll show those in a second here. And then, of course, the main event. A Reaper Bones. Uh, a copious collection of creepy creatures. Bone Sylvania. Kickstarter core set. It, it, this is like a, like a nice box. You know, I mean, the, not that the box last time was bad, but... but I mean... I don't know how well... Nah, I, it won't show up. I have the camera. I, I used one of the old bones to zoom in to make sure that I could get things in focus. But, uh... Let's open that. <laughs> One bag of bones. Two bags of bones. And three bags of bones. So, um, I have my camera set up here, and the goal is to go through and show them off. Um, because while well, the Kickstarter is over, so ultimately this method of buying the bones is pretty much over. But they are, of course, all going to be made available for retail purchase. And so this will just be a large chunk of the bones that were created. Um, a little, the chance to just sort of check them out and see what they did. So if we want to come down here. I got a lot of bases. I kind of wish I hadn't just spilled them all out. Uh, they're in my way now. Oh well, I'll worry about that later. Anyway, I got three different size bases in here. There's the small ones, medium, and large. And if you'll see, the, they all have this sort of lip on one side, and they're flat on the other. So either you could base your minis on the flat side and it's raised, or if you flip them over, um, you sort of have that like if you use like that clear water kind of stuff or something like that you have like a reservoir almost to keep it in. So I need to put some of these back in the bag or push them off to the side and someone onto the floor so I can get the actual bones themselves. Start with this bag here. Alright, the first guy I'm pulling out 
I believe that's some sort of uh, knoll looking guy. Got a mace. I'm sorry, that's a morning star. So right, there's that guy. We got a little mummy here. I think that might be one of the uh, the ones that was from an old bones line. Another of the knolls with the uh, morning star. Another mummy. What's this? This is some sort of bug looking guy. Yeah, that's like a, a little goat man with his axe. A very narrow focus range here. That I'm trying to stay in. Let's see. We got we got a little sprue here with a couple of boxes, some crates. That's that's cool. Another sprue that has that uh, looks like some little animals. They got like a wolf and a uh, bird and badger or whatever that is. Another mummy. Um, okay, this is one of the uh, what was it? One of the underwater sort of ones. The under the sea, and it's sort of that uh, kelp lady. Got a couple of barrels. Neat dressing. Uh, got this little skeleton warrior with his axe. Ooh, that's like a little dwarf that like is in like in full plate mail with like his uh, big old sword. Um, all right, that's some sort of sea fish creature with one of like, the the things like the one of the deep sea creatures with the lantern on its front, but it's like a monster. Um, we got a little spider. That's definitely one of the reprints I have. A couple of those already. We got, we got this lovely young lady. It's probably one of the pulp fiction or one of those. She's got a little briefcase. Another of these knolls. Um, got a little baby dragon here. This guy's got a wrench and a uh, robot arm. This guy is like a cowboy with a gun. Yeah. And this guy is like a skeletal cowboy with a gun. And a cowgirl with a gun. So we got all that covered. Um, probably some generic hero with a mace and a sword. What is this? This is a dwarf, I'd say. And it's clearly a hammer in this hand. Is that maybe... I don't know, that's some sort of item in the other hand, but hammer over there. Another null. <laughs> Got an army of those, which they're bad guys, I certainly can. Another of these little baby dragons here, this one all, you know, rearing up on its hind legs. Yeah, 
Ah, and one of the ones I was looking forward to. The uh, Minotaur. He's a pretty nice scale, actually, if you... Let me grab one of these cowboys over here. Just sort of to see the, the size of the Minotaur compared to him. I really like that. That's threatening. He'd paint up nicely. Um, we got one of these little turtle monsters. The spiked club. Uh, this lady has... I think that's maybe guns in her hands. Um, the edges on that need to be cleaned up if so. But yeah, and her flowing cape. Another one of these uh, kelp girls in a different pose. It's another spider. Ah. Ah. Whatever, Mr. Bones or whatever it is. With his uh, lantern or Chinese takeout, as I've heard it called. Trick or treating, he's what he's doing. A ninja. Ew, it's like a giant tick. That's nasty. And a giant rat. Another spider. Let me check. Let me see something with the camera. Alright, we got a bugbear here. It's a mace and a shield. Got a mummy here again. What's this? Some sort of hag? Some sort of altar, statue, evil thing? Huh? Huh? Is this Sophie? Troll Slayer Sophie. Which is, of course, uh main mascot uh, Reaper. Um, now it doesn't say it's Indiana Jones or nothing, but he's got a machete and a gun and a hat. And there's a whip right there, so when I paint him, this should be Indiana Jones. Because I, of course, need an Indiana Jones miniature. I don't have one. We got a guy with a couple guns. spider. This one has a couple swords. It's leaping into the air. What is, huh. what is he got? got a uh, fat nun with a gun. So, uh, all right then. That's like a sci-fi kind of guy with a sci-fi gun. That looks like a little demonish, little impish kind of, something like that, like a large imp or some sort of demon like that monster. Um, that almost might be one of the Pathfinder ones, but it's a lady with some sort of bottle and, I don't know, looks a little familiar. She has a large sword, big shield. Okay, we got a little sprue with some pots and some bags of probably coins. Could be grain or something though, if that's what you're what you need. Uh, we got a little halfling here with a uh, sword and a bow. Uh. Ooh, ooh! All right. Uh, let's see, how do I keep these together after showing you this one? <laughs> Here's one that requires some assembly. 
but I think I can kind of give you the idea. It's these bits here, and it's this mouth, and this inner mouth that goes inside of it, and it's all of these tentacle things that go, there are little spots in there, to make like some sort of monster in the ground. So, that, that could be quite fun, quite cool. Um, I think that was one of the Savage Worlds one, which I didn't much think of uh, from the image, but uh, looks cool there. Alright, there's the first of the bags of bones empty, so of those three bags, that was bag one. So now we're on to bag two. Alright, we got a bugbear. This might be the same kind of one, might be a little bit of a different bugbear. Spike mace shield. Got a, oh, that's like a dire wolf, kind of like a big old wolf creature. Another uh, minotaur, minotaur, whatever. I think it's a slightly different model. Uh, skeletal guy, the next. Got yeah, this sort of uh, armored, robed, probably cleric. Has the sh sword and shield, and it has some like armor there, but it also has large robes. Um, skeleton monster. Another bugbear. Another mace. Uh, what was this? The uh, burrowing hound. It's a big one. That's one of the things. Because uh, to some extent, you know, people complained there were less models. Here's another. Uh, here to match that evil column thing earlier. Here's like an angelic one. It's quite pretty. And uh, the bones material does sort of bend. I should point out it's it's pliable, um, but it does retain its shape. But yeah, some of these are just so much bigger than than the ones in the last uh, Kickstarter. This uh, sort of looks like an elven kind of guy. Another rat. Another elf looking dude. Alright, and I, I'm just gonna go out on a whim here and say this person is a mage. It's um it's kind of a guess, but it is founded on the billowing fire spilling out of his hands. Alright, we got uh sort of roguish ranger looking person here got a skeleton that's whatever monster thing that is Luck. um I'm not sure if that's a dwarf or just Not sure if he's supposed to be like that. That might be a sprue right there that's supposed to be clipped off, and that's his foot up there. So it's a guy that's like almost falling forward as he's swinging his axe. That's what that is. All right, I figured it out. <laughs> but it still has a bit of sprue in there. Uh, all right, this one is definitely one of the Pathfinder iconic hero people. I don't remember what her name is, but I recognize her. <laughs> another one of those nasty looking guys. And again, while we're at it, another one. Uh, Bugbear. Uh, that could be like almost like a small, like a small bear or something. Another nasty guy. Not sure what those are. <laughs> I think like her sword's bent, and I know you can, uh, I have a video elsewhere of how you can unbend them with, uh, 
some hot water if they end up a bit of a bent shape. If they're bent out of shape, how to fix it. Let's see. Where is that focus spot again? Anyways. Smaller tick thing. This guy's all like, come here. But he has a knife back there. Oh, he's being all tricksy. He's tricksy, he is. He's hiding that knife and he's telling someone to come there. Oh man, he's got devious plans. Tick thing. Archer skeleton. You can just see that blurry pile building up in the background. Uh, that is another one of the Pathfinder Iconics, I think. Um, they partnered with Pathfinder and did a few of those. Um, that's like a brain monster. It's like a brain coming right at you. Uh, probably another Pathfinder? Certainly an elfish. With a staff and a sword. Uh, this guy's got a couple of really big daggers, admittedly. Uh, it's kind of in that crouched stance with this cape. Uh, this looks like a bard, I think. I think they're playing some sort of flute. She. <laughs> Ooh. Now they're on the bigger end, and it's like a giant scarecrow sort of golem thing almost. That looks nifty. Bugbear again. Um, it's like some sort of almost snakish thing that opens up really weird at its head, sort of demonish monster. Um, ah, it's one of that's the one that's the female barbarian. At this sort of paladin looking guy. They really like their capes. Some sort of elf archer. And we got a. Uh, maybe it's some sort of cat or something. Wildcat. Something. Another animal. Um, this guy, maybe a pathfinder, has a bit copish, it looks like almost. Could almost be a monk or something. Really muscular, dude. Uh, here is another pathfinder. With his tall hat. Uh, what is he, the, uh, is it the alchemist or whatever? The guy with the bombs, I think. Skeleton. Oh, one of the big ones. Pretty much the the uh, stretch goal of which I was really like, all right, I'm definitely in for this. That's the centaur here. It's beautiful, giant centaur model. He's coming at you with his spear. Oh, I love that. Love it. You got this big old fat guy with his staff and his like bags and barrels of like goods. He's like a merchant kind of guy. Yeah. And we got this little skeletal archer. We got this lady with her orb and her staff. I'm sure doing magic or something. Tick. We got this sort of a skeletal warrior guy whose sword is a bit bent out of shape. 
And uh, I think this was uh, like a basilisk or something they said. But whatever, little monster you got. And that is second bag down. One bag left to go. And really, this is the one that seems the most full. So. Uh, these two are. Alright. This guy has a big empty spot in him because he's huge. It is like a skeletal master guy on his giant throne tombstone looking thing. Oh man, that's cool. Like a lich or something, I'm sure you could use it as. Um, you got another one of these goat warrior guys coming at you with an axe and he's got a shield. And this is like a lady with like a non-practical viking helmet. You know, you never wear, have horns on your helmet. It's a bad idea. Uh, this guy's staff is kind of bent that way. Like I said, I have a video that shows, yeah, you can repair those, or you can always pin them. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. It's a weird monster thing with armor. It's like a fish monster with armor? Yeah, if you look at his face, it's kind of weird. It's one of those fish guys, I think. Only heavily armored. Alright, another big skeletal lich looking thing. It's a bunch of frills. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, I see one I like. This is like a uh, demon thingy with big old wings. I just, I do. I love how big some of these are. These are, these are going to be fun to paint. You know, whenever I get around to it. <laughs> Ooh. All right. This is another null. And what I'm looking at is what he has. He has this sort of whip kind of thing, and this weird, long, multi-jointed staff. So I'll do this, like, no mage or something? No monk, maybe? Uh, another thick guy. This sort of death knight looking dude. Let's see. Uh, that's the uh, male barbarian, I believe. That's what they called that. Uh, this guy's got like a face, like a nasty looking face on his shield. This knight. This guy's head looks so small, but I think that's just the way of saying his armor is so big. <laughs> also, that's a huge sword for him. Alright, we got this samurai looking guy with a big banner in the back or whatever and some a giant spear as well. He's kitted up. Um winged gorilla monster. Rawr. It looks like a person with like paint brushes and like an art kit there or something. <laughs> Not sure, but that's what it looks like. A uh, frog dude. Gotta love frog dudes. And oh, that's cool. It it has a mask here, and there's like if you can see through it, there's like all the mouth is open on the mask. That's cool. Uh, that's nasty. All tentacly and bubbly. 
monstery aberration whatever thing. Um, all right, you remember that guy with the face on his shield? Well, this guy has a face on his breastplate. Also nasty. Yeah. This guy's got like this uh, flag banner shield on his back. Sword. It's another frog guy. And this one is like wearing something, this is a skull. And I can almost feel like the skull is a separate piece that has been attached to it. Because you can kind of see like through the eye sockets down to the bottom. So that's cool. Um, dwarven guy with a hammer and something behind his back for some reason. I don't know what that's for, but dwarven guy with hammer. This guy's almost in like a mech suit. Like a steam powered kind of thing. This dude got some mighty horns. Big bow, real curly horns. Uh, there's something's head in the bag. Ah, this must be it. <laughs> well, this one uh, will need to be reassembled, but it's one of the goat people. And it is really easy to assemble these. Um, a decent number of them come unassembled in the uh, what I got last time, or I think one or two. Oh, another one of the baby dragons! Yay! This one's a lot skinnier of a dragon, and it's in flight. That's cool. They managed to do an in-flight one pretty well. Skeleton. Right, this one's been staring at me for a while. I got this giant bowl thing. Like a bronze bowl, like from, I think it's Jason and the Argonauts. It's probably what I'll end up doing, maybe, with it. Because it looks like a metal bowl. He got this sort of, uh, dragon dude. Shield and his glaive, or whatever it is, sword. Guy with a couple weapons. And a furry cloak. Furry cape, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, another bugbear. It's different, and he wants you to go that way. Look over there! Um, maybe this is a knoll? It's like a slender knoll? Skinny one? This could just sort of be a generic hero looking guy. I think that's another one of the uh, underwater ones. Oh, I just remembered w w what's in here. One of the other underwater ones that I'm looking forward to. Uh, but yeah, she's got like her fishtail, like mermaid kind of thing, but she's like a monster. Alright, let me find the one that I'm. Yeah. I just remembered him. They got shark guy. That guy's huge. Let me let me pull that average adventurer guy for scale. <laughs> this thing is heavy too. Rawr. So it's like a shark lichen throat whatever thing. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Another uh, turtle guy with a spiky shell, and I think he is using another, like a normal, like this is like a turtle monster, and he's taken the shell of a normal turtle as a shield. That's that's evil. Um, monster, sort of centipede-looking thing. It's coming out of the ground.
ranger kind of guy. I think that's the Inquisitor from Pathfinder. Another big one. The Chimera, yes, I forgot, yes, of course. The goat, lion, dragon, or snake whatever head, and the scorpion's tail. I don't know, that might be a dragon's head even though. The big old wings. Really got some nice big ones. Bugbear. Um, oh, the Dryad. I guess would be what it is. Lady coming out of tree. Ah, our other centaur. Our female centaur. Centaur. Also beautiful. Needs the spear straightened out a bit. Otherwise, she can do to do that if I really want to mess with it. That there of the baby dragons. Sort of a fairy lady. Oh, that guy looks nasty. It's like a swamp monster. He's supposed to stand up a bit more, maybe. He's a bit bent over. So I'll definitely have to fix that, because... Man, he's a cool... And he's heavy. But yeah, big old swamp monster. little demon looking guy this is like a army like a swarm of skeletons another frog dude frog dudes are allowed to use turtle shells as shields and we got a little bag in here, it's our last thing. Oh, and I remember this, yeah, it's the rock tree thing, where it's this sort of uh, whatever thing here, and it has all these tentacles that, well, essentially there's holes in it, and all the tentacles wrap around, but yeah. So that's another of the must be assembled. And that's just So there's the big swarm of them. So many bones. And of course all the faces. So that is the uh, bones core set. Um, and of course just a large selection of the bones that will now be available fairly soon. Um, from when I'm putting this up. A couple of my favorites, definitely the shark guy, and those centaurs, wherever those got to. Those were... I, I love those, but just so many of much larger miniatures um, than the last Kickstarter. Um, definitely nicer packaging, uh, which is nice, because the old ones I still keep in the box that they came in, so I'm sure I'll do the same with this. Um... But yeah, a whole bunch of bones there. Um, I'll do the videos for the other sets probably next week. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll, of course right now there's no, these aren't available. I'll probably link to somewhere where they have the current bones um, line where they're probably just going to add these as they go. Otherwise I'll find a link once they are available for you to check out. Um, but yeah, beautiful miniatures, as, as I showed, some 
kind of end up with bent bits, those can be straightened out fairly simply. I have another video where I've done a bit of work on straightening a guy out with uh, with some hot water. Um, they do paint up relatively easily. I've, I've had videos on that as well. But yeah, so check those out. I'll show off the other, the rest of what I got next week. Have a good day. Bye.